Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite Gary's Mod channel here on the YouTube platform. Now today, I have quite the game changer to talk about if I do say so myself. Now what is this game changer you may ask? Well to put it in short form, this is the closest thing to a Gary's Mod sequel that we have. And most likely will be the only thing we have for probably a few years, maybe the next decade, who knows. Now the last thing I've ever heard about a so-called sequel to Gary's Mod is what Facepunch has been working on for a few years now. If you didn't know, this game, as you may have heard, is called Sandbox. As far as I'm aware, the development on Sandbox isn't very active at all at the moment. And I could be wrong, who knows again, but Sandbox is pretty much perceived as this Gary's Mod 2 title from Facepunch, who obviously runs Gary's Mod in a nutshell. But this video is not about Sandbox, actually. This video is about a game coming out in three days. Three fucking days. Now, what kind of game is close to Gary's Mod that's coming out in three days, you may ask? I'm actually really glad you asked, and I'm probably pretty sure that you didn't, but I present to you the next game changer, Gary's Mod 2. It's actually not officially Gary's Mod 2, and it's not the game we've been waiting for. However, that is not the point. It is the closest thing by far that we have to a next-gen Gary's Mod. This obviously isn't Source Engine. As if it was, we wouldn't be calling it next gen. The game in question is called Unreal Sandbox. You may or may not have heard of this title before, either seeing it on Steam, hearing from a fellow Gary's Mod gamer, or just plain out, simply you've never heard of this game before. Let me give you a quick rundown. Unreal Sandbox is based off of Unreal Engine 4, which obviously is insane. It's actually what Facepunch was basing Sandbox off of, which is a good sign. However, Facepunch was taking an extra step in adding a layer to Unreal Engine as seen here. So what can we expect from this upcoming game? Obviously, if you play Gary's Mod and have achieved over a thousand hours like myself, you will be very excited to hear this news. We can obviously expect the obvious, which would be an entire graphic update, since again, it's not Source, but Unreal Engine 4. If you know what Unreal Engine 4 is, you know it's an insane engine, with insane graphics, and you've probably played a game based off of this engine. A few games I know that are based off of Unreal Engine 4 are Gears of War 3, Borderlands 2, and the game most of us have pretty, eh, for the better part, forgotten about is Fortnite. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time I talked about that game, it's pretty much dead. So judging from all of those games listed above, you can pretty much tell that there's a lot you can do graphic-wise. While Borderlands 2 uses more of a blocky cartoon look, and Fortnite using the same but not as blocky, and to top it off, Gears of War using a more realistic look. So obviously we can expect some major differences between Gary's Mod and Unreal Sandbox when it comes to graphics. What else is there to know about this so-called Gary's Mod sequel, Fade? Well, it's fairly cheap. This game was supposed to launch as a free-to-play game on Steam, however this has changed and the game will only cost $5. There is a catch however, as the first few days of the game being out, I myself have heard that the game will only cost $3. Wow, what an insane saving on your precious little money, right? Like who the fuck? would spend five dollars on a fucking game who like right so pretty much this game is fairly around gary's mods price so hey if you want to play some new gary's mod drop that money on the first few days of it being out on steam like i said in the beginning of the video the game comes out in three days which is the 29th of this month i will have a link in the description to the steam store and the discord for the game to follow any updates if you wish i highly recommend it now to top all of those off, I do have some gameplay, which is not mine, sadly, since I don't own a copy of the game, as some people already have a key for Steam to test it out and report bugs, I, for whatever reason, sadly, am not a part of this group. I also do not take any credit for these videos, I will link the Unreal Sandbox YouTube channel in the description as well where these videos were grabbed from. As you can tell by this first clip, the game is very polished, the graphics are insane and the HUD gives you that reminder that this is supposed to be something very close to Gary's Mod. The fizz gun is something I'm very iffy about. I'm not sure if I like the design of it. I think it looks like a really, really clunky version of the fizz gun we all grew to know, but that just might be me being used to the normal Gmod fizz gun, as probably most of us are. However, as you've probably seen in the weapon bar, there's also a tool gun, which in this case has an icon of a wrench. I mean, like, yeah, what the fuck kind of Gary's Mod game wouldn't have a tool gun? In this next video, which I have muted for copyright purposes because they like to play a lot of songs that they probably don't have the license for, but it's okay. You can clearly see the light tool being used on a ragdoll, while also showing off a little more of the tool gun in the game. I like that the developers have also added instructions on the top left for the tool gun, as Gary's Mod did the same thing, and it's nice for new players, and it lets people know what tools for what. Now, one of my favorite aspects of this game, judging by this clip, is to show off the interaction between objects and the ground. As you can see, the box is being dragged by the fizz gun through the snow. 
and it is clearly indenting the snow, which is also a thing Gary's Mod has never had because, again, source is bad. Here's another clip showing off more of the Fizz Gun in Unreal Sandbox. Again, still iffy on the look, but I'm liking the light reflection off the gun itself. And you can also get a glimpse of the spawn menu, which I will have a frozen image of here. Obviously, lots of people will have issues with how the spawn menu looks, and lots of people won't. Myself, I am also pretty iffy on the spawn menu, and I really hope they take the approach of modeling the spawn menu to have actual modeled images for items such as the chair and so on, but I'm completely okay if they don't do this, but it's something I'd like to see. The game still needs a lot of work, obviously, as the spawn menu doesn't seem fully complete to me, but that's alright again because I'm sure the game will receive feedback from the community and changes will be made and updates will be released. And to add more to the fire, it also has workshop support. So does this mean you'll be able to make your own maps and content? 100% yes. Holy fuck, maps are back better than ever. It has actually been said that using Unreal Engines for to make maps is a lot user friendly and easier, which I wouldn't doubt since Hammer was really bad for making maps on Source. Like it was, it was terrible. The crashes. I'm not that 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 could be a separate video. It was garbage. It was terrible. No idea what Valve was thinking, but yeah, it was like, it's completely outdated. On the note of the workshop additions, there is server support as well. So I can expect to see some roleplay servers infect this game once again, which honestly, I don't have an issue with. If I seen a dark RP server on Unreal Sandbox, I'd give it a go. So to answer your question, yes, there will be servers and most likely custom game modes as well. That just about wraps this video up. I haven't went over everything, but I just did a quick recap of everything I know so I could give you guys a quick heads up just in case you were not aware. As a Gary's Mod player, I am very excited to see this game and I hope the best for it. I will be buying this game day one of release. You hear that? Day one. Three days away from now. And then giving it a go. And I may be doing a review on it unless I get lazy, of course, which I, it happens quite a bit. And I'd probably skip the video part, but I'm, I'm going to hope I actually do come around and make a review on it day one. Anyway, links are in the description. I hope you guys join the server and subscribe to the YouTube channel, both mine and Unreal Sandbox. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys when the game comes out. Also, we don't need any Five Nights at Freddy's game modes on here, so uh, don't ruin it, please.